What's up, everybody out there in the Frontline Universe? I'm Chris, he's Mike, and yeah. welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Mayhem. Arcade Block. He hit the mic. We apologize. Sorry. Arcade Block. One of the two boxes that we get right now from Mystery Box Mayhem, and I'm going to promote this here. Uh, we are looking into um, maybe one other box to add next year for Frontline, but I'm going to put a little teaser here for my channel. If it's not comic related and it's not this box or the retro gaming treasure, we might be doing some other mystery boxes over on my channel that have nothing to do with comics at all, but that's something that you will have to stay tuned uh, for a video of on my channel in 2017. But in 2017, alternately also, we might have some more boxes for Mystery Box Mayhem as well. Yep. So, till then though, Arcade Block for the month of October 2016. First and foremost, take these out of here. There's another paper here. Oh, that actually is something. Never mind. Uh, are there any other papers? Papers? Yeah, papers? I'm not any looking. Any papers? No papers. All right, we're going to take the shirt. You know what, man? What? We always do the shirt. You could look at me without looking down. Oh, yeah. We always do the shirt last, and it always gets in our way. Let's do the shirt first, and let's start making this a thing. If they're going to put the shirt on top, we're going to show the shirt first. So first off, we got a Gears of War 4 shirt. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And how do I know it's Gears of War? Well, on the back, well, other than the tag on the back, it says Gears of War 4. Interesting shirt. I probably wouldn't wear it, though. I'm not really that deep of a Gears fan. I think this will be more for Michael when he's walking around outside or something. I know Michael likes skulls. I have skulls. too many skulls. You're, you're a skull man. Okay, so you hold on to that. So, I did the shirt. You go next. You can take the card the, the card that I pulled out. Just make sure not this? to... No, I said the card that I was going to pull out. Just oh. make sure you don't show the code, because that's, yeah, that's, the, that's the side of the code, yeah. Yeah, so this is... Uh, I'll just show the side. Yeah. Drop zone. Drop zone. I have no idea what it is. It's a closed. It's an exclusive closed beta key. It's a computer game that we don't play computer games. So I'm going to see if Cindy wants it. If not, we'll pass it along to somebody else. But it's a computer game code. Nice. <laughs> We've got. I'll take this. A Five Nights at Freddy's. McFarlane Toys. It looks like it's uh, it's exclusive to Nerdblock. It's an 8-bit Balloon Boy. Apparently, oh. it's to promote the rest of the other figures because the other figures are available. Balloon Boy is specific for, um, I guess, for Arcade Block only. I would love to see if I can actually get him together in the time that we have here, but I don't think I can because I think I need a scissor. Let's see. You could go on with the next one, Mike. Um, yeah, I need a scissor. I don't think I can do it. Star Fox Zero Socks? Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, Star Fox Zero Socks. So, I was actually looking into uh, finding some socks. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have to hold off on that. So, Putting right. Balloon Boy together. Balloon Boy has a lot of pieces. So, uh, we'll have to hold off on building that. You can take the socks out of the bag to show oh. everybody what they look like. Oh, I, I didn't know, but okay. I'm going to put Balloon Boy back in his bag for now. Alright, so just so that. I thought there would be time, but there is no time to do that. Alright, so yeah, so here is uh, the sock of uh, Star Fox Zero. And, uh, that's pretty good. It's a nerd exclusive block. It's a nerd block exclusive, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'll cool. take... I know you're going to want this, so I'll move that over. I'm going to take this. This is another Nerd Block exclusive. It's a poster. I like posters. I will say that. I like when we get posters every now and again. So let's see what poster we got this time. It looks like it's something with, with Mario, because I see the question marks. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Super Mario Kart. Let's see if we can get that. Uh, we can't get it all in frame, so we're going to start from the top, where it says Super Mario Kart, and bring it all yeah. the way. The post is awesome, but the game, not, not so, so much. Awesome. I played that, yeah. All right. All right. Poster. So, 
I guess this one. Yep. A wax off design. It's a gun or something? I think that's the Nintendo laser. I'll have to look at the... I don't want to look at that yet. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks like the, the NES... Uh, oh, dear Christ. Gun. Hey, guys, look. It's it's more of those code cards for a shirt punch and $10 credit. We got another card for a shirt punch. And we got another card for a $10 credit at NerdBlock if we want to buy anything. Yes, as we speak, the NerdBlock store... It's nerdblock.com backslash shop dash shop. Oh, sorry. Shop, period. Uh, for the Nerdblock shop. If you like anything you see here and do not buy Nerdblock, maybe you'll be able to buy it there. If it's still available, that is. So this doesn't say really much. It just says Nerdblock exclusive. Yeah. RK Block pin. It's a pin, yeah. See? Laser. Looks like uh, from the uh, NES. All right, and there's only one thing left, and it's big, and this is definitely not an arcade block exclusive. It's a Batman Arkham Knights Catwoman figure. Oh, so we got Catwoman. Figures. Yeah, apparently there's a Catwoman. There's Robin, Nightwing, oh, and Commissioner I Gordon. Nightwing. I would have loved Nightwing or Robin, honestly, but we got Catwoman. Catwoman's cool. Yeah. We, 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 uh, we were okay with no, that. I'm not hating on Catwoman. I'm just okay, saying, let's, you know. Uh, first of all, let's close the box, and then we'll go through all of the stuff. We'll rate it, and we'll talk about everything here. Okay. Arcade block. Now, let's put Catwoman here, and we'll put the pin here. So... The um, spotlight item was you can get one of three. Commissioner Gordon didn't count. Uh, it was either Nightwing, Robin, or Catwoman. Now, I have Nightwing from Arkham City. It would have been cool, I agree, to get Nightwing instead of Catwoman because it would have been cool to have the other Nightwing figure. Unfortunately, we got Catwoman, who was the... Honestly, she was my third out of the three pick. But you get what you get, and you don't get upset. That's what I taught my kids, and that's what I'm going to teach myself. Um, the t-shirt. I think it's an okay shirt. I like it. If you're a Gears of War fan, you're going to love it. It was pretty nice. The Five Nights at Freddy's exclusive. Oh, everything's exclusive, by the way. Everything is exclusive except for the um, code. The beta key was a bonus. And the Batman, obviously the Batman Arkham Knight figure is not an exclusive. But everything else here is. So, the Five Nights at Freddy Balloon Boy, if you have the others, you're going to want Balloon Boy. So, yeah, I think that's really cool. The Star Fox socks are really cool as well. The Zapper pin, eh. The Mario Kart poster was really cool. The Drop Zone beta key, we don't play computer games, so really it doesn't matter to us. And the good news is, they did not count the Shirt Punch card. Thank you, NerdBlock. We took a survey, and in the survey we said that the card should not be counted as an item in the box. Thank you, NerdBlock, for listening to us. At least you listen to your fans and um, or your subscribers. And I'm sure multiple subscribers said that. So it's not just us. Overall, I give this box a... Again, I'm not going to wear the shirt. The Balloon Boy was okay. The socks, I don't wear long socks. The Zapper Pin, eh. The poster's good. The Drop Zone code, I'm not going to use. And the Batman figure is pretty nice. I'll give it a three and a half out of five stars. As the only thing I really come away with here that I really like is the poster and the Batman figure. Which, again, would I have gone out and bought this figure on my own? No. However, it's Catwoman. It's cool. What can I say? Alright. The t-shirt's pretty alright. You know, for Gears of War 4. Five Nights of Freddy Balloon Boy... I mean, not really uh, a fan of Balloon Boy, but it's Five Nights at Freddy's. And it's an exclusive. And it's an exclusive. The Star Fox socks, I like that they added that because socks are cool. We all know that Mike's taking these socks. Right. And the Zapper, that brings back the old NES days. That was pretty cool. The Super Mario Kart poster, I really like that, that we have something to hang on the wall. I'm looking and, for a place for it as yeah. we speak. And the Drop Zone <laughs> computer, like I said, we don't play computers and stuff like that. And the Catwoman figure, it's an action figure, it's good. Uh, rating... Average three? Average three? Okay. I mean, I mean... Three, I, three and a half. You know, that, yeah. it's an average read. This average. is an average... You know, one thing I'm really a little bit disappointed with is the fact that Nerd Arcade Block 
started off really strong. Remember the beginning of the year? It was our best subscription box, and we were getting several boxes at that time, and that was our best. We looked forward to it each and every time it came out. The past two or three months, we've been average or a little... You know, we were given this box five stars. Now we're down to three. I don't want to consider it a strike. I mean, maybe we'll, you know, we'll get next month, which, by the way, next month's box has a exclusive license item from Call of Duty, Infinity War, obviously because this month, we're in the month of November already though, this month Call of Duty count comes out, and then also featured in this box, um, Pac-Man and Diablo and more. And next month's box is quoted to only have three exclusives. So every box has anywhere from four to six items. So again, I don't know. Uh, like I said, this doesn't count as a strike per se, but if this is how they're going to end the year, regardless of how strong they started 2017, we might switch to a different gaming box as of January 2017. Uh, if, if 2016 ends on a very sour note, we might attempt a different box for, 26, uh, for 2017, like I said. Just because, you know, we want to get what, uh, you know, we want to enjoy the box and we want to have stuff that we like. Again, Mike will come away with socks and a shirt. I'll come away with a poster and maybe a figure to put somewhere. But other than that, this is stuff that, I don't know, this month just didn't do it for me. Average, like you said. It's very average and it's a little disappointing. But hopefully next month will be better. We got Call of Duty. We got a couple of really cool things. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. <laughs> if you are interested in purchasing or subscribing to Arcade Block, link will be in the description below. Let us know what you guys thought of this month's box and let us know if you actually went out and decided to subscribe to Arcade Block because of what we've been doing all year. Don't listen to just this review. Go back and look at the other Arcade Blocks. Never determine whether you want to... I learned this the hard way. Never determine if you want to subscribe to a any subscription box until you see at least three or four months worth of what you get because one month can be amazing the other three months can suck or vice versa one month can be eh and the other three months can be amazing and then it's worth it or maybe it's always great and then you don't have to worry so again always do your research before buying a subscription box never base it off of just one video or just one reviewer or unboxer i should say for this Comic Frontline, we are your number one source for comic related news reviews and a whole bunch more if you'd like to see more and haven't subscribed already Subscribe. We put new videos up each and every day. Tuesday, Frontline Live. Friday, Dark Avenger Live. And Wednesday or Thursday, Media Madness. You can't go wrong with Comic Frontline. I was going to say .com, but this is YouTube.com backslash Comic Frontline. But if you'd like more Comic Frontline goodness, go check out ComicFrontline.com. There's a lot of great stuff over there as well. Written, our videos, everything. Until next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and we'll see you guys really soon in the next video. Hey, everyone.